Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show how you can host your own web server and create your websites locally without purchasing web hosting packages. For this we are going to install a local web server package called WOM. It acts like a complete web hosting server which allows you Apache web server and MySQL database server functionality inside your computer. Go to WOMPserver.com and download the installer to your computer. Scroll down and click on the download button. If the download didn't start it automatically, click this link to download the installer from a mirror link. Download will take few seconds or few minutes. Double click and run the installer file after the download completed. Don't forget to add MySQL package to your installation. By default, this will use Internet Explorer browser. But you can click yes and select your favorite web browser to work with WAP server. I'm going to select Google Chrome browser. Here, click no to keep notepad as default text editor. If you have a different text editor, you can click yes and select it. When you launch WAMP server, you will see this icon. You can start using your local web server once it has turned green. Now open your web browser and type localhost. And press enter button. You should see this page if everything works correctly. If not click the green WAMP server icon and restart all the services. WAMP server icon must be showing green color to work. Now let's create a sample web page and test if the web server works. First we should locate the web server root folder where we must upload our website or web page. We should always create a subfolder here so we don't interfere with root folder files. Once you create a subfolder you can access it by typing the subfolder name followed by localhost and a slash. Default website homepage file name is either index.php or index.html. For this simple example I'm going to use HTML language to create my test web page. If the file icon still shows text file format follow what I am doing and delete the text extension from the file. Now it works as a web page. To edit the web page open it using notepad or other text editor you like. Here, I'm going to write a simple HTML code to show a heading text on the web page. As you can see, our web page works perfectly. In the next video let's try to install WordPress inside our local web server and start designing a full functioning website without writing any codes. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.